Kapadia, and Yetanansa to Shuba, Becato, Ribica Bucato, Rabacatania, and Caposho, Reda Busso, Ribica Bucato, Ribica Bucato, Ribica Ba, Nacaliando, Shop, Ribica Bucato, Ribica Ba, Babucato, Ribica Busso, Ribica Ba, Babucato, Ribica Bucato, Vocalantos, Babucato, Ribica Bucato, Ramacalishana. Yazianto to people could do for the Kabosur Katatiana. Oh, we give you praise, you're worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Basho Brianda Koruko Babasho Fribiante. A reader Basho Brebika Bokudu Frabakaliande. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. All right, sorry for those of us on Facebook that I lost you there. So please just get back in there and then we go straight into tonight's session. Seeking the face of the Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. So we're going straight into the session tonight. God has a word that is very beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. We give God the praise. Now tonight, God is... releasing special grace to lead our steps and plant our steps in the places that he has blessings waiting for us that's what we're going to be praying on tonight god's word is very simple and clear and that is that he's leading your steps and planting your steps in the places that he has for you i'm going to read psalm um, 37 verse 23 psalm 37 verse 23 the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delighteth in his way the steps of a good man are ordered of god you know so god wants to order our steps he also wants to establish our steps, you know, um, so that um, he can help us to end where we're supposed to be. There are places we're not supposed to be. There are places we're supposed to be. There are places that God wants us in. There are places that God doesn't want us in. There are places that are hard to you. There are places that take from you. All right? And so it's important. In the book of Proverbs, uh, I would like to read Proverbs in chapter number 3. Proverbs chapter 3, I'll read from verse 5. He said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Alright? In all your ways. He said, if you acknowledge God, he will direct your path. He will order your steps in the right path if you acknowledge him. And he wants to put you in the right places. See, a lot of times people have died because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or sometimes it may even be the right place but wrong time. 
or it may be the wrong place and even right time but it's a wrong place so people sometimes their steps are ordered to the wrong places satan wants you to be in the wrong place satan wants you to be in the wrong places but you are not going to be there because god has ordained tonight that we should pray and get grace upon your path so that your steps will be ordered of him so that you'll be in the right place at the right time nothing like being in the right place at the right time there's nothing like that because when you are there grace is there with you strength is there with you courage is there with you everything you need is there you understand and all through the scriptures we see this that many people are just in the right place at the right time and when people are in the wrong place <laughs> oh so many things go wrong and i'm praying for you tonight that you will be in the right places at the right time it's a confession i declare regularly on us in the mornings but tonight god is putting grace there are some people the path you have gone has taken you off the will of god for your life but god is going to bring you back into his will it's an opportunity tonight it's an opportunity tonight i want you to first of all receive the prophetic word and then i want to say some few words and then we'll lead uh, in prayers can you say father in the name of jesus i receive this prophetic word that my steps are ordered of god now so i will be in the right places at the right times in the name of jesus i will be in the place where my blessings are i will be in the places where my glory is i will be in the places where you are positioned destiny for me in the name of jesus pray that in the holy ghost I read a pasuvra kanda shukukia me pasuvra ya kast konya mi ambatali. I read a pasuvra kotangi kokofia pestinanda. I read a bukai a kokofia pestinanda shukopaya. I vetu teni ingalisa to preya koko lipianto. O vatanzias to kumbamba na nekore kadofia pasi. Asento shupian mokoro kotaka asida. Asida papo kodovra boko toka ni ende shofa. Ma pesi ngoranga kakwese si ketos novanda. Ereda po sofra kotoko lukomba piane kolekansi. Asika papo sofra kinda. Orani ya pasura katas konya mie porgo. Fasura kapaya. Zeketisha. In the name of Jesus. Now, I was called many years ago. I was sharing this with some youth. Um, in a meeting, I was called a couple of years ago, I mean, many, many years ago anyway, I was very young. I was called to come and pray for um, a friend in the area, not a close friend, but a friend in the area. And we knew her, we knew her very well. So um, the, the people that are close to her said, oh, please come, you know, um, she just died. Please come and pray. Maybe God will show mercy and raise her from the dead. And I went there with the desire to see her raised from the dead, you know. And there were two of us, and we prayed. I mean, our body was cold. We prayed with desire that God would bring her back to land, give her a second chance. Well, the unfortunate thing was that she didn't rise from the dead. Even though I hoped, I wished, I desired that that happened. Then I remembered back to when um, she became a little bit, you know, going off. I remember she became a very, 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 I mean, I, I, let me call, let me use the word notorious a little bit. She started smoking and then she went from smoking to other things. Here she was dead because she had taken overdose of drugs and i mean we were told that and so we went there we prayed and then i thought back and i said what if I, what would have happened if someone had told her because i mean she started smoking maybe like five six years before that time if somebody told her that that first stick you're about to take is a path and that that path is going to end in you taking not just cigarette but marijuana from marijuana to drugs and somewhere along the line you're going to lose control and you're going to take overdose of drugs and you're going to die at a tender age she wasn't up to 30 
She was just in her mid twenties. You know, if someone had told her that that one stick of cigarette was going to take on a path that would lead to death at a early time in life, maybe she would have believed. Maybe she would have believed. You know, but I, I wish someone had told her that there is a path you are initiating by this action. And that's how life is many, many times. We take an action, it initiates a path. There's a path that God has set for you. That path has all your glorious destiny. That path has all the beautiful things that are supposed to happen in your life. That path has you serving God. That path has you walking with God. At the end of that path, you will have lived a fulfilled life. And then you will exit and be able to spend eternity with God. That path has that. That path has victories over challenges. Because life is always full of challenges. You know. That path has victories over challenges. But there are paths also that Satan forms. And he guides and deceives people into those paths. Why? Because he wants them their lives will be terminated. Sometimes they may even live long, but it will be a frustrated life. Some may even succeed at some things, but by the time they are exiting, they exit to eternity away from God in the lake of fire. You understand? So there are many parts that a life can go into. As you are watching me and listening to me tonight, there are many parts that your life could go in. All right some of it you might be able to you know live long some of it there's no long life there at all some of it there's it's full of sorrows some of it is full of some victories but the end is destruction away from god but there is a path as a path that leads straight to eternity with god that leads into fulfilling your purpose, that leads into your talents manifesting, that leads into every good thing God has put in you coming to his full manifestation. There is a path. I don't know whether you are on the right path or you're on the wrong path. Maybe you are fired off. Maybe a decision you made. I was sharing this with some youth and I said to them, I said, don't let peer pressure make you to make decisions that you know are not good and are not right and not decisions that will please God. Why? Because you don't know where that path is going to lead to. You don't know. You don't know. Some paths lead to prison. Some paths lead to hanging. Some paths will lead to death by assassination. Some paths lead to being killed in ritual killing. There's so many. But tonight, we have the opportunity of this prophetic word to put our paths right and pray ourselves into the right path of God for our lives. I give an example and um, um, okay, I can't use that example now because of the season we are in. You know, but what I'm trying to make you to see is this. If you decide for Jesus, there's a path. If you reject Jesus, there's a path. If you accept purpose, your purpose, why God created you, where you are able to exhibit and use the gifts and the ability that God has placed in you, there's a path. If you refuse that and chase after all that things, there's another path. If you go and join the, you know, in Nigeria today, we have all the Yahoo stops going on, young people going in that direction. There's a path it leads to, and that path is leading somewhere. You are a Christian. You are serving God with all your heart. It's a path. You are a Christian. You don't you do all the bad things, you still come and say, God understands. It's a path too. You are faithfully serving God. It's a path. But I pray that you will be in the path of God's will for your life. Let me tell you this. The truth is this. There are some people that will not end this year with us. Why? Because they've gone on the wrong path. And that path is leading to their death. God, God doesn't want them to die. It's not the will of God. But they would die. Why? Because they stepped on the wrong path. And that path is leading to a particular destruction. Which cannot be stopped. But let me tell you this. This prophetic word tonight has the capacity to change the direction.
to re to redirect you back on the perfect part of god for you and that's why i'm taking time to explain this because i want you to pray this with all your heart let me tell you this saints there are people that you think are very good there are people you think are serving god from everything you're seeing around them they look okay they look like they're serving god but let me tell you this some of them will die this year i got up i was going to uh, the east many many years ago i was maybe 23 or 24 and god told me not to go but i wanted to go because i just wanted the adventure all throughout that journey i was warned several times don't go but i went when i got there god moved there things happened i'm telling you god moved things happened i was saying god why are you moving here i thought you didn't want me to come he said even if i find it don't care i'll use but he didn't want me to go when i came back he said you just shut the doors of the east i don't know what that door had for me my path in life that door was reopened a couple of years ago when he said i should tell the people to pray for me and that he will reopen it but let me tell you saints there was a original experience i was supposed to have relevant to that is i lost the that now they gave me a second chance yes that second chance has brought so many things but i i there's no way i can know what that first path or first chance will have given me i don't know it maybe when i get to heaven they will replay it for me now if i died on that trip they will say oh that young boy he was so fervent, he was so zealous. He, I mean, he was always, you know, doing the will of God. He was fervent. But God was saying, don't do something, but he has gone that way to do it. And that thing was not sin. It wasn't lying. It wasn't fornication. It wasn't any bad thing. But it was just something that God said, don't do. Let me tell you this, saints. I decided for the rest of my life, I only do what he says. That's what I've been saying to you. The most important one of the most important prayer not the most important anyway but one of the most important prayer you should pray every time god what is next what's your next what's the next thing what what's the next thing you have for me when you are there you don't know what to do just say father what's the next he will show you what's next and if he keeps showing you what is next it will lead you to that perfect path the perfect will of god for your life there are things i've heard i've seen I'm amazed. When I was in school, I saw three girls. And God said, look at them. They were Christians. They used to go to fellowship, you know. They were SU Christians. Pretty three. Um, and they were friends. I wasn't close to them. They were not in my world at all. But God said, look at them. And as I looked at them, I said, okay, why are you telling me to look at them? Then one day, I saw one of them. They did a not too good lecturer and god said look at her i said what is it you know i i'm, I'm telling you the, I, I i i wish i knew some things i knew today you know i prayed but i i i i guess god wanted me to do something but he also wanted me to see how things happen and then a couple of days after i saw her in the car of that lecturer and they were driving the, the, the lecturer was driving you know it looked like they were leaving the campus the next time I saw this girl, one of these three, she was dressed in a way that I knew she was backsliding. And that was when I attempted to talk to her. And truly, she was backsliding. Then at another time, God made me to see her. And God said, I've gotten her back. And then God now put all the pieces together. He said, when I first show, you, show them to you, did you ever know that the part of that one was going to go past a lecturer and that you will backslid? I said, no. He said, that's how many, many times when I say worship, you don't know what I'm saving you for. Now, we are supposed to worship and pray, do that regularly. But when he now instructs you to do, you don't know what he's saving you from. You don't know. What if she didn't come back to the faith? She'll have been one of those very zealous father and sister, but now she's in the world and she'll have continued the world. She might have gone into all kinds of bad things and she might have died like, like that, my friend. I, I gave the example to you. Listen, 
we have to be in the path of God for our lives. Whatever it takes, we should take advantage of every opportunity we are given to get back in line. You have the opportunity tonight to get back in line. Please pray with all your heart. And I pray the Almighty will help you. Can you pray this prayer with me? And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you have the path for my life that you have set. The path that has all your goodness. The path that has all the victories over all the challenges, over all the operations of Satan. The path that leads finally to you. Father, I pray any aspect in any way that I've missed this path redirect me back to your path for me in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. I read a pasovra canto shio piamedende. I read a pasovra kato kulikamba chia steria. I read a pasovra bakato vra bakatanga le songo baya. I read a pasori anta kapapa sufi ambesi nante. I read a boko kakasi a stete tu tomana. I read a pasovra beke boko tovra bo akapiando asian tutuwa parende. I read up so rakanta duani. I read up so frabi ke boko do frabi ante. Azwansi ankatia kweke piambasa. Abiato so frabi ke do frabi ke to rakanga. Ezesia sto pepe ke no framan ka papa. A pasuvre ke nda kaluan sinkampi. I read up so frakatu kalampi. E ruwa paziaste kana amosho fia peste nega. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. Paths that lead to terrible diseases, you know, terrible diseases. I got a message today, someone's kidney, they have to do quick surgery to remove the kidney. There are parts. I remember one time God said to me, stop eating rice before it destroys you. So. There was a period of about four or five years that he said I should eat rice only once, I, I think once or twice a week. Because that time I used to eat rice almost every day. <laughs> and I could sense that five years down the line, if I continue at that rate, I will have put myself in a particular path that probably I may not be able to get out of. And, oh, you know what God saves us from. That's why I, I pray that you will have intimacy with God. So that you hear his voice. You know he can talk to you. He can instruct you. Because it's one of the greatest blessings you could have in your life. I'm telling you. So he told me. I told my wife. In fact, around that, that, that period, my wife even introduced brown rice. <laughs> the healthy rice. You know. And walked with me to reduce how many times I ate rice. Then there, there was even a period that God said, as long as you are in the country, don't eat rice. Only when you are outside the country. That time we are doing a lot of mission work all over Africa. And we, uh, we traveled a couple of times to some of the western countries too. But, but, so I ate rice only when I was outside Nigeria. Why? Because he wanted to save me from a danger that that way I was eating rice was going to plunge me into. You are going to pray prayer. Every part that leads to death. That leads to terrible disease that lead to you know anything that is evil that will stop you and stop your destiny the lord shall counsel those parts and put you back on his path for you pray and say father in the name of jesus any path i am in that leads to any horrible disease that leads to any horrible event any horrible happening that terminates life that frustrates destiny that destroys uh, uh, one a person father counsel these paths and put me in the path of your will for my life in the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost. I pray a kato toni ambe. I read up a sofra poko tanga li shopreyante. I read up a sofra kata kapuka nembiata. I read up a sofra kokasi andabe. I redanto takiase pepe kedo fraba. I rekoko fia pesi ndapana. I redabesi kato sofia pesi ndaba. Amakuta diane. Amavuri ya dashufre kata kalukon. Ansiya sata bagutire. 
Rafia Pansinga, Redabosho Fraba. We command every wrong path destroyed. Destroyed. Abaro Kanyande. Erida Pasovra Kando, Azazia Stopibia, Amapoko Tovrabo, Araka Sote Teniape, Aridofo, Apasina Kadore Nian Padu Goleshi, Asiasete, Asiasete Papoko Tovraba, Apatoni Galeton, of the Apeste Rococo, put me back in the path of your will, put me accurately in the path of your will, Arida Paso Rakashi of Yenbe, Azo Soprai Kandoka, No Bakuderia. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Listen, one of our pastors had a friend, and he had a crush on that friend. Really would have loved to date her and marry her. But that didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't work out. You know what happened? He got married to somebody else. She ended up killing her husband. I'm not blaming her for doing it because we don't know what she went through with the guy that provoked her to the point of killing. But that could have been that our pastor. It could have been. So sometimes marrying the wrong person can terminate life, can frustrate destiny, can destroy. That's why they say marriage can make you or mar you. You will not marry wrong. And even if you are married wrong, God will put it right. Because God can. God doesn't need to cause divorce. God doesn't need to kill one of you. God can change it. All you need is the mercy of God to put you on the right path. Are you hearing what I'm saying? To put you on the right path. So I want you to pray this prayer one more time. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that every area of my life that are via off your will for my life. Let it be realigned with your will. Let it be brought back to your path for me. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Arida Pasura Kata Danambo Kuya. Yababu Kotovra Bika Bukotovra Bi. Arida Pasuri Ganam Basufia Pesticata. Arida Bonang Le Sufi. A Pasioto Kalenda. Arida Bonso Fracato Supe Picotovra Bocolanti. Essie se Catosho Bama. Mapero Kotovra Bika Bukotovra Ba. A Rocco Sian Santo. A Papica Dovra Bacanua Sian Tape. Arida Bosso. Arida Bosso Bracato Colicanto Vrimiambe. A Rimia. Pacosia Sekitu, a Babina Mamosi, a Kalwakapi, a Paso, Rakanto, dear me, a Redabos of Rakapi, Bureke, a Mapano Masando, Fribia, Kari, a Rukumba, a Rukumba, a Pacodandiaba, a Messese Koto, Rime, a Redabasso, a Redabasso, Kapaka, Totania. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now we're going to pray this prayer that God will. Plant our feet in his will. Plant our feet in his purpose. And then lead our step. You understand? God wants you to be in the right place. Alright? So you're going to say, Lord, plant my feet in your purpose. Reda posofra baya, reda posofra bukotoriande, a reda posungaka, a gaposho frebiente, a pesia nonco, a pasofre gananka, a ria sapata. In Jesus' mighty name. We're going to pray it. I know some of us on Facebook, you missed that prayer point. Don't worry. We're going to take it together with the next prayer point. All right? We said, plant my feet in your will, in your purpose. We're prayed on purpose. In your will for me. Help me to walk that path that is your will for my life. Pray and say, Father, plant my feet in your will and your purpose for my life. Order my steps in the path of your purpose and your perfect will in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost of Pabu Kodovri Yanta. Reda Boshofra Kosi Angisi Atesi. Apapika Dovra Makabanto. Esiasa Katoso Premianto. Reda Boshe Ngakazi Antofre Mi. Apapakonto Premiantaka Rukofi. Azakiku Kamiamba. Kamiamba Pakadovra Bikabu Kashansi Ekolu. Reda Basi. Akasia. Akasia Tampambi Kodovra Makatatulingi. 
Tatolinge pepike dofra ba Eria masanga rokofia pesina Ababura Ababikananto sovraka Kwayesi kataya badu Arida basura kante In Jesus mighty name We are prayed You are going to say Lord Plant my feet in the path That my blessings are Lead my steps to where my blessings and abundance is Alright Pray and say that Say Father In the name of Jesus Plant my feet in the paths where my blessings are. Lead my steps in the path that you have placed blessings for me in this life. In the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost. Reda papo kotanga le sofre kandu sinambale. Reda boso rakaka lisanto sofamba. Abe pike dofra pike tori anda kalukoshiam piabe. Aza sofre anta tapaka toria. Reda banda amasanto frakosa kaliape. Abapo kotovra pike no kasiya seteshi. Ovaswa teniamba emesetso shufi. Abakotovra ibianter rakata so kopi ambese dute ni mamba ni mamba pukotovra bo aza kasiya Konoma me pesi ofrebi kado areda ba shofrebi kabo kado ofreba areda paso rakanto zianga e pesiato e pesiato aruba kambori ganamba ezeketo shovia barakanda. Now you're going to tell God, order my steps in the path that ultimately leads to you for eternity. You know, it's terrible. If you found Christ, you walked with Christ, then at the end, you ended it in the lake of fire. It will be horrible. So you're going to tell God. The Bible said, unto him that is able to keep you to the end. He's the one that keeps us. None of us can keep ourselves. None of us can do that job. But he does it. If you commit it to him today. I've always told all our people, and all of you that are watching me, all that are following me, both virtually and in, in every way listen you will make it to heaven Amen. why because I've told God please keep everyone to the end that is one prayer that I seek him for regularly and if you do it then we can double sure we can double assure ourselves that eternity is sure so pray and say father Plant me in the path that leads ultimately to you for eternity in the name of Jesus. The path that ends with you, that's the path I want to be on. You are the one that is able to keep me to the end. Keep me to the end in the name of Jesus. Pray that and, and, and pray in the Holy Ghost. Azesia koto komba padiata areda posofra kadanto shampara areda posora kakoli confiance to janede jandede pesovranga papuko dedi abatania do korakasia sodove sodove se kiasto no mamba amakoto fra bikeboko do fra biantasi akato dine akato dine reda posofra kato shingabaya reda wosha kasias to kumamba in jesus mighty name we are prayed all right now if you have a prayer point you want me to pray with you on please type it all right i'm going to read them at random whether on mixlr or on facebook put it on the comment section i'm going to just pray and then ask god for them and if god gives me a word i'll give you a word if not we we'll just ask him all the same all right because he is god and he's faithful all right and he wants to meet your need he wants to beautify you. Alright? There's um, there's someone that you are online right now. You are a daughter of Zion. You are... you are. Uh, what I'm seeing in the spirit, I'm seeing you, you know, like you've cried to God. That you're tired. You don't want to do something. Anymore. And you know that's what you're supposed to do. But you don't want to, particularly a particular aspect of it. Maybe... It has to do with some people and they are just so difficult you know and you're like you want to give up don't give up don't give up i see god you know like telling the angels to find you and calm you down so they have brought the breeze of peace and ease receive it now in the name of jesus receive the the, the breeze 
of his and peace in the name of Jesus. And God is saying to me that instructions are coming and as they come, that which has been difficult will become easy. All right? If you are the one God is talking to, please put that comment there that that word was speaking to me. I receive peace and ease. I want to know that you're there. All right? The reason why I tell you to always type is because I want to know you're there because one, it assures me that God is talking to someone and then it helps us to connect faith with you for a miracle okay so if you are the one just say i receive the breeze of peace and ease bishop uh, bishop finn I, I i i think that's how you call that name i declare that peace and ease is released to you no! and don't worry just go forth and do it all right do it do it god will instruct you do whatever he says all right i'm seeing another person that that word is also for receive that peace and ease mrs Brome, receive it in the name of jesus what has been difficult will become easy and you will testify i'm very sure of that okay the lord bless you all right i'll just save the request please if you have typed the request and i didn't read it you can put it in again you know so that i can see it because I'm not going to scroll back, okay? All right, I'm seeing someone here. Um, Lord, please resolve the issues at work. Cause my enemies to be drunk with their own blood. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, I, I, I think I'm not going to pray about your enemies. I'm just going to pray that God will step in there. All right? God will sort out the enemies himself. So in the name of Jesus. All right. All right. I see the acts of the Lord cutting through the obstacles that they have set, set before you. The, the lies that they have raised against you. They are dismantled now in the name of Jesus. Receive victory concerning those issues at work. All right. Olabisi, that's for you. Adewala um, Kiso, I received complete healing from my dad. All right. Father, we pray for daddy. You brought him out of the hospital the last time so you can still do it again so we stretch out your hand towards him wherever he is right now and lord let your hand touch his body touch his organs touch every part of him and let there be restoration of life now in the name of jesus thank you father for healing daddy in the name of jesus christ all right glory to god mm. Um, all right, Adubari, you are asking God to connect you to the ordained person of God for you. So I declare in the name of Jesus, the person that God has ordained for you, you are connected to that person in the name of Jesus. We bring your path and the path of that person together and we declare now there's a way in the name of Jesus. Now, I see, I see in the spirit a period, all right? I see a, a season. It's, it looks like a quiet season, but do not be bothered. That's a season where a lot of inspiration, a lot of um, things are going to come to you, all right? So use that season to develop content because I know what you do. You know, I'm aware of that. So um, um, use that season to develop a lot of content. That period... If I want to spell it out, it looks like about three months. But after three months, activities will increase with great speed again. So receive the peace of God and grace to excel in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Ajoke David said, praying for healing for um, is it dad's knees. Father, in the name of Jesus, we extend the hand of God to your daughter's dad. Let there be the touch of God there in the name of Jesus. Let there be the touch of God there. Let his knees receive life. Now! Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. We pray for a creative miracle there. Whatever is as wear and tear, let it be fixed in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Um, I'm seeing Sumbo, you're writing. 
pray prayer for favor over a matter that isn't going that is ongoing ongoing um, ongoing <laughs> all right about me okay father in the name of jesus favor for your daughter in the name of jesus let there be unusual favor in jesus name i did to, to pray that god's wisdom to take my um branch profitability to the highest this month of me in the name of jesus receive wisdom to take your branch profitability to the highest this month of me in the name of jesus i release the winds of god your direction to cause results to soar in the name of jesus receive that in the name of jesus glory to god all right someone on mixella flexi rev i receive complete healing in my ears all dizziness stops all right because of this okay receive that talk by in the name of jesus receive it receive healing in those ears i command dizziness to stop whatever is causing it the hands of the lord fixes it now in the name of jesus receive healing in jesus name annabelle lord please bless me with a career related job and grace to meet my spouse you have grace to meet your spouse now your path are made straight and because of the prayers tonight that right man comes your way in the name of jesus that fears god that knows god in the name of jesus that is fulfilling purpose that is successful receive in the name of jesus and thank you father for establishing the career path for her in jesus name all right penny you are saying um lord please sharpen my speaking gift and um, enlarge uh, insight receive enlarge insight receive strong insight and receive the grace of utterance you are my daughter you're supposed to have utterance just receive it all right utterance is a gift in the house so just say god i tap into the grace in the house and receive utterance you see pastor Wally speaks very clearly pastor can also so it's a gift in the house receive it in the name of jesus you don't have to preach the gospel <laughs> you understand when i say i mean everybody has to preach the gospel but in your field you can have utterance there's a gift in the house for that receive utterance in the name of jesus christ all right so my father has utterance i receive the same grace that's all and you have it in the name of jesus all right um somebody on mixer said bless me with the right partner receive that right partner in the name of jesus i've been bola they be uh, pray to know um to know and love god more and be in his uh, i think that just went now okay you will know god more in the name of jesus and you will love him more and you'll be in his perfect way for your life i've been bola your path have been realigned again into God's perfect will. You are out of bondages. You are out of yokes that have limited how far you can go. And I'm seeing in the spirit, the next five years is going to be a season that God is going to cause so many things to happen. So if you yield yourself to him, I'm seeing that there's a need to totally yield. If you totally yield, something amazing is breaking forth in your life. The gift of God in you is coming out. God is going to transform you. He's taking you through like a school. So receive grace in the name of Jesus. You're out of every bondage. You're out of every limitation. You're out of every yoke. The Lord releases your gift into the dimension he has for you in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, the Lord bless you all. I pray for every request that I've not been able to read. 
Lord, I pray that you would meet everyone. Meet everyone. Lord, touch everyone. Minister to everyone. Transform every life. Do what only you can do. Touch their homes. Touch that business. Touch that career. Touch that academic pursuit. Lord, give clarity. Give clarity, I pray. Let there be clarity on what to do. Every confusion is melted off. Clarity comes. Talents are discovered. Abilities are unveiled. And Lord, you begin to connect your people accurately to the right places, to the right people, to the right environment. In the name of Jesus, I decree that for everyone. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. If I couldn't read your prayer, please pardon me. All right. I saw Isaac, Isaac Mugabe. I don't know what you are asking God for, but you are getting double. All right. I didn't even see what you wrote, whether you wrote a comment or, or you just said amen, but I saw your name. All right. Double. Receive double in the name of Jesus. We thank God we're going to pray over our seeds. If you check the, um, the um, what do you call it, the broadcast title, you'll see the ways you can give there. The account is there. I think Minister Bumi will also help us put the account on the comment section. So you have it there also. And maybe someone on Mixella will also help us to put it on Mixella. But I'm going to pray and then you can give your seed either now or immediately after the broadcast but make sure you give the lord bless your seed the lord bless your giving and the lord unleashes your harvest to you in the name of jesus may you walk in the fullness that god has for you in the name of jesus may you walk in the abundance that god has for your life in the name of jesus all that god has said for you satan cannot take it it is released to you in the name of jesus you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Every tithe is blessed. Every giver is blessed. And those who are giving prophet offering, you are blessed also. For the prophet's reward. My God has supplied for all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ. So you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Um, I want us to know that every morning at 5 a.m., we gather to pray. And it has been awesome. We confess the word. We put word because what you say counts. What you say counts. Jesus said, by your words, you'll be justified. By your words, you'll be condemned. Meaning, your words will direct the paths and the things you experience from life. So if you speak the right things, you experience the right things. If you speak the wrong things, sorry. It's going to be like that unless God steps in by his mercies for you. So it's important for you to always say the right things. So that's why I encourage you to join us on the prayer of devotion every morning 5 a.m we pray we worship we learn from the word of god you understand and then we speak the word of god and then i want to encourage you this broadcast tonight share with your friends family even your enemies <laughs> because i tell you somebody is going to be saved somebody is going to be taken out of the path that leads to death to depart to life just because they prayed these prayers all right so help somebody to find god and to find fulfillment and the name of the lord be glorified in your life in the name of jesus all right the lord bless you tomorrow we're going to be in the evening we're going to be having at 8 p.m the eti uh, business urban success on wednesday it won't be 8 it will be 6 30 just wednesday alone we have school of the spirit and i'll continue the teaching I started last week. Then on Thursday, 8 p.m., study with me will also be on. And then Mama will be on 8 p.m. on Friday on relationships and marriage. And don't forget that she also has a, a session for expectant mothers on Wednesdays, 12 noon, and singles, 12 noon on Friday. The Lord will bless you and fill with grace. I congratulate you for having the opportunity to get your path back 
the path of God's will for your life. God bless you. This is Pastor Paul Olashori signing out. Shalom, shalom. Good night.